Indoor Air Quality, an awareness presentation for caregivers by EcoSolutions Pro. Discover how this silent threat could be seriously affecting the seniors you know and love. In this short awareness video, we're going to discuss the IAQ problem, a few quick facts, some common pollutants, concerns for seniors, tips to improve IAQ, and additional protection. First, let's look at the IAQ problem. Indoor air quality is one of the EPA's top five environmental risks to public health. Despite this, almost 25% of Americans do not show concern about the air quality in their homes. People can spend up to 75 to 90% of their time indoors. For some seniors, they spend closer to 100% of their time indoors. Pollution inside is typically two to five times worse than the air outdoors. Sometimes it can be 100 times worse. We've sealed our homes and offices so tightly for energy conservation, they no longer breathe. There is little to no air exchange or fresh air brought in. Indoor air is constantly recirculated throughout the entire structure. Indoor air pollution is then trapped indoors and caught in a vicious cycle. That means bad things stay in and good things are kept out, and the pollution and problem is compounded. The American College of Allergy, Asthma, and Immunology states that 50% of illnesses are caused or aggravated by polluted indoor air, and one in five Americans, or about 55 million people, have allergies to airborne triggers such as pollen, mold, dust mites, or animal dander. Recent EPA and American Heart Association findings released during the Air Science 40 seminar shows that small particles in the air we breathe can cause high blood pressure and even cardiovascular disease. While these problems affect all people, they especially affect seniors. Now a few quick facts. Adults inhale 23,000 times a day. 90% of all colds are caught indoors. Each day we breathe in 35 pounds of oxygen, plus whatever else is in that air. Children inhale more particles for their size than adolescents or adults. The number one allergen to seniors and children is dust mite feces. Now each dust mite goes to the bathroom 20 times a day, but they do not flush. Scientists state 10 million dust mites can live in your bed. 40,000 dust mites can live in one ounce of dust. The average home of 1,500 square feet has 40 pounds of dust. 80% of the dust in a home is made up of dead skin cells from people. A person sheds up to 700,000 skin flakes per day, and we lose our outer layer of skin every 29 days. One puff of cigarette smoke creates 3,900 chemical gases. Cockroaches carry 27 different diseases. 29 different chemicals are brought into your home by dry cleaning, and many are carcinogenic. Let's take a look at some common pollutants. There are three types of indoor air pollutants found in the place we spend most of our time. These pollutants are particulates, microbials, and gases. Particulates are tiny particles suspended in the air. Common particulates include residential pollen, dust mites, dust, smoke, and dander, and skin flakes. Here's a quick particulate check you can perform in any building. On a sunny day, simply look towards any window in your home or office, and all of those little things floating around in the air, those are the particulates. These are the very same particulates that are tiny enough to pass through the lining of both your nose and your throat, with the possibility of making it into your lungs and bloodstream, potentially carrying nasty germs or bacteria along the way. Microbials are bacteria, germs, viruses, fungi, spores, and mold. Although bacteria are small in size and usually microscopic, they have an amazing ability to do damage to all living organisms, including humans. Many everyday illnesses are also caused by viruses like the common cold or the flu. Mold can be a very dangerous allergen, cause infections, and destroy property requiring extensive repair and or rebuilding. Gases, the indoor odors that are caused by things like pets, cooking, and garbage. Odors exist in every home and office. Gases such as benzene, formaldehyde, chloroform, hydrogen sulfide, ammonia, etc. are released from furniture, cabinets, carpets, cleaning chemicals, insulation, insect sprays, hairsprays, etc. The chemicals used to make these various items end up producing an off-gas, which is essentially evaporating these chemicals directly into the air of your home or office. There are numerous documented health-related issues, including cancer, known to be caused by the pollutants 
that were inhaled by the victims within their indoor airspace. One that comes to mind is asbestos equals mesothelioma. Let's take a look at some common pollutants. First there's dust and dust mites, smoke, pollen, cleaners and chemicals, pet dander, and cooking odors. Additional pollutants can be added to an already toxic environment by clothing, furnishings, construction materials, home cleaning products, and heating and cooling systems. Some common symptoms often associated with various pollutants can include headaches, fatigue, nosebleeds, drowsiness, dizziness, memory loss, depression, asthma attacks, and cancer. Now that you are aware of the numerous pollutants bombarding seniors, let's take a look at some of the concerns relating to them. Even for active, healthy individuals, poor indoor air quality can wreak havoc on their health or quality of life. Imagine the effect on a senior who may already have a compromised or very weak immune system. Some of the top concerns for seniors are allergens, VOCs, volatile organic compounds, lead, asbestos, and mold. In the interest of time, we will only look at allergens and mold. Allergens are considered to be any form of allergic reaction causing airborne agent, but they are most commonly associated with pollen and dust. However, many seniors will find treating allergies to be difficult. Antihistamines can react negatively with other prescription drugs that seniors commonly take for heart, joint, and muscle health. Seniors, because of their weaker immune and respiratory systems, often have a harder time fighting off allergens. Natural bodily reactions such as sneezing and coughing may be more difficult for seniors, leading to an increased lung or bronchial irritation and risk of infection. Allergens can also trigger asthma attacks, which can be particularly fatal for the elderly. Sometimes poor eyesight or immo immobility leads to infrequent dusting or vacuuming, leaving large quantities of particles in the air which can ultimately end up being breathed into their lungs. This oftentimes compounds their already labored breathing and may result in the need for oxygen. Remember, we breathe in and out 23,000 times a day. We breathe in, our chest expands, we breathe out, our chest contracts. Sometimes improper humidity or water damage at a senior's place of residence can cause mold and bacteria spores to grow rampant. Again, with closed windows and recirculated air, their, re their room becomes a test tube of active cultures being hailed nearly 24-7. Let's shift our focus off of air for just a moment and look at surfaces. Even though we can't see them, odor-causing bacteria and other organisms live on countertops, doorknobs, floors, and other surfaces. Not only do seniors have to deal with poor indoor air quality, but they must also be aware of surface contamination. Of course you've heard of MRSA and C. diff, two of the more common nosocomial infections typically acquired in a healthcare setting. These infections are acquired by contact, so keeping the air clean and also keeping services clean can dramatically lower the risk of seniors acquiring these types of infections. There is so much to clean and so little time, but I do have good news for you. There are technologies on the market today that are capable of cleaning both the air and surfaces. More on that in a minute. First, a few tips to improve the indoor air quality. These tips include reducing sources of pollutants. Don't smoke indoors. Keep rooms free of dust and dander. Ventilate the space. Open doors and windows to allow fresh air in when possible. Filter the particles. Ensure the HVAC filtration is changed regularly. And use pleated HEPA filters. Purify the air and surfaces. Use purification technology to remove particulate, microbials, and gases. Have the air professionally tested. Don't guess or chance it. Utilize certified indoor air quality specialists to improve your indoor air quality and check the levels and ensure a safe environment. Items to check at a retirement community. Ensure that the HVAC filters are changed regularly. Ensure maintenance staff use cleaning products properly. Ensure gas and combustible appliances are vented properly. And check to see if landscapers use electric lawnmowers and blowers. Additional protection. In this last section, we simply want to educate you on some available technologies which can be used to combat all three of the indoor air pollutants we mentioned before, particulates, microbials, and gases. This is not meant to be an extensive overview, but merely an introduction. This technology addresses particulate. 
As shown in the screen here, our Living Proof Smoke Box shows how this technology charges particles, clumps them together, and drops them from our breathing area. When you clean up the air by dropping the particulate, seniors can simply breathe better. Now here's a quick look at some results on microbials. In the left, we see this petri dish having mold growth in a house before the purifier was placed in the house and turned on. On the right side, shortly after the purifier was placed in the home, we see that the levels of mold were significantly reduced. This technology is considered active because it goes to the source of the pollutants, seeking them out to destroy them. It's not what we call passive, where it simply waits for things to be brought to a filter. This technology and purifier uses the air to carry active scrubber ions and oxidizers, attacking contaminants directly on the surfaces where they live. We take the solution to the pollution. Now wrapping up, here are a few products you may want to consider adding to your prevention toolkit, either using them personally or recommending them professionally to ultimately help protect the seniors in and under your care. First off, we have personal pr protection. It's worn around the neck and is especially good for those with compromised immune systems. Next, there's stationary protection. It's the room purifier, perfect for assisted living in nursing home rooms or small bedrooms. It's designed to be secured to a wall power outlet and not moved around. It has two fan settings and no other controls. You just plug it in and let it start working. Next is portable protection for home and offices. And it's based on the load of the space, so you size the uh, units appropriately. Load is how many people, pets, carpet, pollutants, gases, etc. are found in the environment. There are multiple fan and purification settings to accommodate the square footage and load of the conditioned space. Nature Next is HVAC and air duct protection. It's installed directly in the ductwork. It easily treats entire condition spaces with one or more of these duct systems. It works best when used in conjunction with the portable units for maximum coverage, and it installs near the HVAC unit or along the ducting path. The top unit is for microbials and odors only, and the bottom unit covers all three, particulate, microbials, and gas. It is important to note that these units are not medical devices and they are not intended to diagnose or treat any specific condition. The information that has been presented is offered for educational and informational purposes only and should not be construed as a personal medical advice. Always consult a physician or licensed healthcare professional for any medical questions you might have. Do you think that there's a problem? Well, there's no need to guess what's in the air, just test it. From simple DIY test kits to more intensive testing, we can help. EcoSolutions Pro has a resident Normie certified National Organization of Remediators and Mold Inspectors trained indoor air quality specialists ready to help evaluate and solve your indoor air quality mold problems. Our current certifications include Certified Formaldehyde Screener, Certified Indoor Air Quality and Mold Inspector, Normie Qualified Sampling Technician, and Professional Screening Partner. In closing, Having already cared for and laid to rest both sets of parents and working with countless numbers of seniors over the years, both inside and outside of various care facilities, we know firsthand the silent but serious effects poor indoor air quality can have on the health of our beloved seniors. If we only knew back then what we know now. We hope that this short presentation has opened your eyes to this very important issue. Now it's time to take action. There's no need to compromise on better health. Clean both air and surfaces. These technologies are simple to use and operate. There's no harsh chemicals, and there's protection available for pennies a day. If you can't breathe, nothing else matters. Visit us online, ecosolutionspro.com. Call our office, ask questions and seek solutions. Schedule an indoor air quality assessment. Purchase protection today. This has been a presentation of Indoor Air Quality Awareness by EcoSolutions Pro for a healthier indoor air environment.